بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد It's such a joy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us another opportunity another season to learn something new on Islam and arts we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have successfully done 13 episodes on our season 1 series of Islam and Arts. And by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, today we are going to start our first episode of season 2 on Islam and Arts. During season 1, we learned several things. We learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has created colors and we learn of the colors that are mentioned in the Holy Quran. Those are the six colors including white, black, red, yellow, green and blue. We also managed to name them in Arabic and after that we learned several aspects of history of how Islam appreciates arts and the significance that Islam has on arts. And we mentioned some several examples of the people who have benefited from arts. After that, we also did a couple of paintings. We painted a sunset, we did a sky, we did a night sky, we did an ocean. Alhamdulillah, we managed even to write Alhamdulillah on our last episode of season one. We hope that you learned something on our season one series of Islam and Arts. And we advise you and we encourage you that this is a continuation of what we had done on our previous episodes and on our previous season. So since we are beginning a new season, please always remain focused and don't skip any lessons. And if you have any questions, you can send us an email or you can send us any comment on our social social media pages. Without any further explanation or mentioning what we had done on our previous lessons, as you can see, our table is already set. And you are wondering what we are doing with leaves on our table. This is what we are going to do today. We are going to paint uh, leaves. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned leaves in the Holy Quran in Surah Al-An'am. وَإِنَّهُ مَفَاتِهُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ وَمَا تَسْكُتُ مِنْ وَرَكَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions leaves in the Holy Quran. So since... It is mentioned in the Holy Quran and it's something that we come across each and every day. I will give you a hack on how to paint a leaf. Remember, as we had done on our previous lessons, just simple tips or simple paintings, steps for beginners. The same way we are continuing with simple steps for beginners. And that's what inshallah ta'ala we are planning to do on our lesson today. So I have my canvas. And I have color black with me, the aswad. I will paint the whole canvas so that I get my background color of the canvas. Don't worry about the leaves. I will show you what to do with them later on. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I hope you enjoyed our season one. I also enjoyed it and I learned a lot, a lot from it.
الحمد لله ويدان بينتين the background of the canvas we let it dry for a couple of minutes while it's drying I'm going to mix color green for the leaves by now you know how to mix color green so there is another trick of mixing color green you can mix color black and yellow it will also give you color green and it will give you a jungle green color as you can see from what I'm doing now I know you're used to yellow and blue but since this is season 2 we are much more used to the colors and familiar to the paints we'll come up with some new tricks so if you want a jungle green you mix black and yellow and you will have something like this almost similar to the leaves so we let our canvas to dry then we will continue with our next step alhamdulillah after the canvas has dried we are going to apply the paint the green paint on either of a leaf that you can find if you have a smaller leaf you have a bigger leaf depending on the size you want or the canvas that you have also so we are going to paint green or apply color green on this canvas make sure your color is not so liquid your paint is not so liquid if it's too liquid then you won't get the results that we want or that's needed so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the leaf in the holy Quran He's just trying to show us that he knows everything that is in the ocean, deep down, the oceans and the corals, and he knows everything. Like, for example, the leaves. If a leaf falls from his tree, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about that. If there's something hiding underneath the leaf, Allah knows, Allah knows, Allah knows everything, including this leaf has so many aspects that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to learn about his creation. For example, take a look at um, how the leaf grows from small to bigger from now it's green then it becomes yellowish and it dries it falls off the tree so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything and that's why maybe he has mentioned it in the holy quran just to show us the power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has you have a lot of toys at home but sometimes you don't even know why you've misplaced some of your toys but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything every single leaf on earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about it so after applying your paint on the leaf gently press it on your canvas gently press it on your canvas so 
Subhanallah. Imagine an insect is walking on a leaf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about that. An ant. Allah knows about that. So Allah is all-knowing. Gently apply it, press it on your canvas for you to get the pattern of the leaf and the shape of the leaf. It does not need to be perfect. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect. So we are just wanting to, we want to get the results of the pattern and uh, the shape of the leaf. If you feel satisfied that you have applied it on your canvas, then you can fill it out. Mine is too dull. It's because of the paint that I've used. So after that, now you apply your artistic technique on the outermost layer of the leaf you apply color yellow or green or any other color So I'm using yellow because it's not that much far away from what we are painting. Then you follow the pattern that it is in your paint, your leaf. So remember in anything that you're doing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. You cannot hide. So I'm just following the pattern left when I pressed the leaf on my canvas. So that's one. We can also use, since you have several leaves, let's pick another one and try to see the results we will get. Remember the procedure, you just apply the same round of leaves, yellow. At least with this, you have a starting point on the shape of the leaf and the patterns of the leaf veins. So once you've done that, you've applied your paint on your leaf. You apply. You press it on your canvas. Gently. Make sure you you are very careful in applying. If you feel you're done, you lift it up. Then you continue with the pattern. So you can repeat the same procedure over and over and over. Alhamdulillah, we have managed to crack a hint on how to, a puzzle on how to paint a leaf. 
So this was a simple step for the beginners. You just pick any leaf you wish, any size you want. Just make sure it's not too dry because when it's dry, if you apply it on the canvas, it will crack, it will break. So it won't give you the perfect idea on what you want. Pick a leaf, then apply any paint you wish. If it's red, if you want purple, you want brown, there's nothing wrong. I've only used green because it's the most, it's the natural color of the leaf. So you apply it, then you stick it on your canvas, you press it, then you unplug it. After that, the pattern that you see, try to use a pen or a brush and apply a different color on it so that it pops out like what we have done with our leaf here. So Alhamdulillah, we have managed to paint the leaf. And as we have recited the verse from the Holy Quran, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about anything you do. So when you come across a leaf on the road or at your house, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's happening on the leaf. And the same way he knows everything that's happening on the leaf, he actually knows everything that is happening around you and what you are doing. This will be the end of our lesson. Until we meet again tomorrow or on our next episode, inshallah. Ma salam wa billahi tawfiq. Shukran.